What's up guys, welcome back to our camo guide series. Just a little background on this video, it was originally going to be a road to dark matter video. I mainly ended up focusing on uh, the science camos or kills behind cover during this recording. And throughout it, I'm explaining how the camo works, the best way to get it, the best methods, best spots, all on Nuketown. So I figured I'd make this into a guide instead. So all throughout this gameplay, I'm going to be explaining, you know, everything you need to know to get these science camos done faster. But with all that being said, here's the footage. I just got it up to level 40, which is around the level you start unlocking the science camos so i got at level 40 i got one kill behind cover during that game but today we're going to be going through and trying to get as many kills behind cover as we can as well as all of our other camos uh the build i have right now i have a gunfighter class on so i have more attachments but cobra red dot uh the muzzle break i'm sure i could switch it out with something here I think I'm fine with the first one. Our barrel is a strike team barrel uh, because we don't have the task force one yet. Uh, we have the tiger team spotlight on, bruiser grip, 63 round drum mag. Probably a little overkill, but uh, you can't go wrong with more ammo. The jungle grip and the close quarters combat stock. And I also, I've just been playing on Hardcore Nuketown. I think that's the fastest way to level up and, you know, get challenges done with guns. But if you're more of a core player, uh, that works too. But I think it just goes by a little slower. Also, I'm going to go ahead and redeem a double weapon XP. And we're going to play a game or two. Try to focus more on kills behind cover because after the Flora video, a lot of you guys were asking me to do a video on kills behind cover. So this is kind of research for that because I don't have any other gun. Like I, every weapon I have in this game is already dark matter and there's no metal or anything for a kill behind cover. So there's no way to really track how much you're getting. So this is a good way for me to go ahead and you know, see what really the best method is for getting kills behind cover. Also for the rest of the class, if you missed it, I have a stim, a tomahawk, field mic, attack mask, scavenger, and ninja. But we gotta get some kills behind cover. So basically, from my understanding of getting like every weapon in this game gold, kills behind cover, it comes down to a few things. One, getting absolutely demolished in a game of Nuketown. But mostly, like this is a camo that heavily, heavily relies on what somebody else is doing, which, you know, causes all the frustration to it. But from my understanding, a kill behind cover is if somebody, if at least 40% of their body is covered by an object on the map, it could be a wall, a door, uh, a barrel, a car, anything that covers 40% of their body, whether that's like vertical or horizontal, they need to be looking at you and they need to be within like, they need to be within a, like a three foot radius of that object. So if I'm standing, so if I'm standing back here and somebody shoots me like this and with this as the cover in front of me they won't get a kill behind cover because i'm not close enough to the cover it just says it just thinks i'm behind it and that's like in the way there also you saw right there i just got a wall bang wall bangs do count if they're close enough to the wall a lot of times you see people camp in the fence area over there and if you shoot them through the fence it will count people right here also count this is a good spot for kills behind cover you just need them to peek it a lot of times people like to crouch peek over the trailer here i think he's there now yep so we should have at least one kill behind cover, maybe two. I don't know how close they were on those wall bangs. It's impossible to tell. But I also like to play hardcore for this because if somebody's behind cover, there's only so much of a there's only so much of their player model that you can shoot. And if you're not getting a headshot, it's likely they're gonna get shot a few times and then you know lay down, get out of the way, take cover. Oh shit. Sorry, pickles. Okay. So I, I usually play hardcore for this challenge as as well as uh long shots. I oh, don't know. It just makes everything so much easier. That one might have been one, but I'm not too sure. Right here counts when people peek over that sofa or they hide behind that uh, dresser. But Nuketown's definitely your best bet if you need kills behind cover. Also, another good way to get kills behind cover is to not get knifed. But in these windows here up on the houses, if somebody is pressed up against uh, the window sill over here, it counts as a kill behind cover. And if nobody's peeking over there, you can also get kills on people like that, like sitting by those tires, people through the trailer, people on B site. I think domination is definitely the best mode for grinding anything really, but especially kills behind cover. It helps keeps the spawns where they're at. And also it helps a lot. Uh, if you're going for these kills and you see that somebody is constantly going to the same window or something, if, if they're helping you get these kills behind cover, like I used to sit back here and do it and I would kill them here and they would stop coming. I'd be like, oh, why they obviously you get killed a lot you're not gonna keep going back to the same spot you should also get up as close to the window as you can because if they're going for kills behind cover you're going for kills behind cover everyone's happy they'll keep coming back it's all about not dominating 
as much as you think right there that was a kill behind cover too that was weird so only really his gun and his head was sticking out over here by this uh little pole but once you find that you and another person are working on the same challenge and you keep going to the same spots just trade every death just go back and forth if it were me and i was constantly getting dominated at the same spot and not getting any progress towards my camo i go to a different spot it's just like cod psychology basically so i'm guessing since our last kill of that game we did unlock the first science camos that we only have five yep so there we go in that game, we got four. In total, you need 50. Uh, we were kind of getting dominated that game, so we didn't get the most out of you know out of our attempt there. So I'm gonna back out of this lobby. I'm gonna re-enter so we can get some fresh faces in here that won't be kicking our ass. And then we'll see if we can get a little more. And I guess since we're working on the kills behind cover, I'll throw the science camo on. I never really use these actually. Also, I know a lot of people are gonna be asking, how do I get these weapons leveled up so fast? Why well, legit? I just play Nuketown, and sometimes I'll redeem a double weapon XP. Sometimes I forget to. Like really, just playing it and playing hardcore where you can get the most out of your kills you get as many kills as you can that'll level up pretty quick what did i just i thought i just hit marker the mannequin up there apparently i i just scraped his dome but that means somebody is up in that window so if this guy will let us out of our spawn we can go tango with him let's see not seen him up there. That guy's there. I don't know if he was close enough to the trailer for it to count. Now, these camos, sometimes it feels like where you're shooting at, like it feels like that person is behind cover and it should count for the challenge, but it, it's COD. It, it's not going to track as well as you think it will. Once you unlock this challenge, I recommend just immediately like focusing on it and everything else after will literally just come by using the gun. And also, hardcore helps so much with just going for, for five times, like the classic camo, because you can shoot one burst of this thing and it can kill like five people there's a guy back here but he's not peeking like right there if i had psychedelic unlocked that would have been the fastest double kill ever all right now that we've we've kind of pushed them back a bit they're more prone to camping so let's see if somebody's peeking one of these that might be behind cover he's also kind of next to it i don't know if he was behind it enough but remember we were at only five kills behind cover before this game started now we know somebody's peeking a window i think we actually just spawned behind them so i don't know how, how helpful that's gonna be that might be one i don't think the, the opponent needs to be looking directly at you just facing your direction actually the elevation they're at doesn't matter because i've gotten uh kills behind cover by shooting somebody that's you know in the window from the jeep they just need to be looking somewhat in your direction you need to be in their field of view so we didn't unlock any camos that game well, let's see if we got any progress we got literally one so th it is really gonna be hit or miss you know you're not always gonna have good games where you're getting a lot of them but just focusing on them and just constantly like crying at it you'll eventually get it actually i think i'm gonna work on long shots too while we're here so let's go ahead and switch to a three time scope i'm gonna change my reticle to this one now let's see if we can get a game that is not kill confirmed or team deathmatch and we get thrown into a team deathmatch game anyways all right let's see if we can combine our long shots and our kills behind cover but it looks like all four people here on our team had the same idea that should be one. At least it feels like it should. There we go. Quick four. I'm pretty sure this door here in Yellow House Garage does count as a kill behind cover. And also people laying down in front of that little ramp at the end. So a lot of these little areas can count. It's just about getting them at like the right angle. I know I said this challenge is mostly dependent on other people. There's there's still ways to make it so you can help yourself out here by going to all those spots I've shown and by like positioning yourself in a way to make it so that person looks like they're behind cover to you. Like as long as they're close to that object, it should work out. That one might be one. Let's go check on the window. See if anyone's there. I'll throw up my spy plane while I'm at it. Doesn't look like anyone's up there. Oh, now there is. Okay, we have, we, we, we've caught a fish. Somebody's up in this window here. There we go. Now, if I just wait here, let's see if he comes back. Yep. Now, I wonder if he'll come back and try to get us. Maybe he won't after he got shot too quickly. So if he doesn't, then we got to focus on other angles like this guy here. That one should count. I only saw his hands. That one might as well. Peek over that Jeep. There we go. That's a kill behind cover. It's got to be. That's literally the definition of a kill behind cover. He's taking cover behind the Jeep shooting at me. Now, this guy's taking cover on these boxes in the trailer. This is definitely one. Perfect. Textbook. Yep, there we go. So, we at least got four this game. That might be one. That was a nice little jump shot. 
Yep, we ha we're at exactly 10. So, so far, it's been 24 minutes and we've gotten nine kills behind cover. Granted, we have been getting slammed in these lobbies. We've only played one game of domination and that was one that we got put into like midway through the game. So if you're getting domination games, uh, your lobbies are a little more uh, you know, helpful than the ones I've been in. I, I guarantee you could knock out more than I am. Finally, it puts us into a domination game after backing out of what seems like 45 games. Now, let's see if we can get it done here. This game will last longer. There's more incentive to sit around these uh these objectives so people will be sitting there peeking over like the cars and stuff by b site so we should get a little more and, and spawns will be a little more easy to protect so let's see how much more we can get in a game like this now let's check right away see if we have any window buddies it's not looking like it we can get that guy though we got a guy at the jeep that jeeps are the same as window buddies you just come back kill the guy at the jeep go ahead peek where'd you go that guy's not allowed to lay there. All right, so if you're not getting window buddies, see if you got garage buddies or long shot buddies. That should be one. Shooting from garage to garage like that, perfect kill behind cover. Also, a really got good spot for uh, long shot kills with the crossbow. That's where I got most of mine. Looks like me and Laflame are gonna be dueling it out. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this guy's back sitting by this car over here on greenhouse spawn. Perfect for kills behind cover. He's gonna pre-fire him. He's not peeking now, so he probably changed his angle. No, he's still there. There's a corpse blocking my view. Okay, it's gone. There we go. If you're not getting if you're not getting kills behind cover, you're getting long shots, so. You're getting something done. Perfect. Yeah, this guy keeps going back to the same spot. If you can find people that go to the same spots, and you can kind of you know, pre-fire them and get them in those easy positions where you know you're going to be getting kills behind cover. Always go back to it. If you really don't care about your KD, you can get camos done way faster. It's all about just making people think that, oh, hey, that's a free kill. I'll keep going back. And then, but at the same time, you're also racking up kills on them. See, there we go. We already have five and this game's not even at halftime. We got 10 this whole video. That's perfect. If this guy just keeps coming back, we're going to have these done in no time. There we go. Oh, now spawns flip. That's not good. He lost his spot. Maybe he'll take mine. Oh no, he's going back. He's flipping him. He wants his spot back. I think he's got it. I need one more for a five times. Oh, he's peeking over. There we go. And it's a kill behind cover too. A little double dip. This garage is so good for kills. Get out of here. There we go. We're racking them up now. So if they start to figure out your spot, you just move over. That's another one. Oh, we're racking them up now. Now you can get some with flame. You're helping us out. I'll try to jump over my fence though. We catch those. We finally got into a good lobby. People are peeking just the right angles. We're swimming in kills behind cover. That's one for sure. I'm thinking we got a pretty decent amount of kills behind cover this game. Ooh, look at that burst. The burst on the hip fire is kind of crazy. Peek it. I know you're there. Go ahead. There you go. Okay. 56 and 36. Not a bad stat line at all. And I'm pretty sure we got a lot of kills behind cover that game. I feel good about how many we got. All right, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. So we went from our first like three games only getting 10 kills behind cover. We finally get into a good domination game with, you know, a kind of decent lobby. We're still getting spawn killed every here and there. And we racked up 14 kills behind cover in one game. Like you guys saw, I showed you before it was at 10 and then we got 14 that game. This whole recording, the whole raw recording right now, I'm looking at it. It's just about to hit the 39 minute mark. So in about 40 minutes, I got four science camos done. Like that, that's pretty good work. If you guys like this and you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, you didn't, you don't dislike. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. And yeah, uh, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.